I want to talk to you about these two very important images, uh, brain imaging studies that have come out that show the effects of our instruction on reading skills and, and the concomitant brain changes. The studies that I'm going to present to you are particularly important in that regard because they were independently designed and executed. These studies have been vetted by um, peer review and published in journal articles that are highly respected ones. Um, they were published in respectively Neuron and Neuroimage. The new one is coming out in Neuroimage. These are the, are the journals that are uh, among the top ones that scientists who study reading read and uh, publish in. Now I'm going to talk about the first study that was published in Neuron in 2004. And this was a collaboration between Way Forest and Georgetown. Um, we were looking at adult dyslexics, and these were uh, dyslexics who had been identified in childhood, and they were quite severe. They still had problems as adults. And we were asking two questions. We wanted to know what does the brain look like in a dyslexic person? How does it differ from a typical reader when they're doing a phonological task? And then beyond that, and even more important to us, was what changes, if we can change their reading skill and make them better readers, what changes in those brains? And what we saw was that these dyslexics increased activity in their parietal lobe. Also, they increased uh, an area in the ventral part of the uh, posterior temporal lobe. But here's what we were really, really interested in. And that was, what did these dyslexic brains look like How did, when we compared what they looked, the profile looked like before the intervention and then after eight weeks of Linda Mubell intervention? And we found some very interesting things. We found that in the left hemisphere, there were some areas that were increased as a function of the, the instruction. So in the right hemisphere, there were also a number of areas that increased in activation. Now we come to the most recent and in some ways the most astounding study, I think. And that is uh, this new study uh, published in Neuroimage that shows gray matter volume changes uh, as a function of reading intervention in a, a small group of dyslexic children. There were four brain structures that showed significant increases in gray matter volume at the end of the intervention period, or the instruction period, as compared to the beginning. So time one to time two increases. And these are areas that are involved, importantly for us, in memory and particularly important in mental imagery. We're delighted with this outcome, of course. The increases also were maintained over time. We expected to see some increases here and predicted that we would. And we think that this is because of that, that uh, seeing stars instruction actually induces generalized learning. I was involved in these studies, but I wasn't an employee here, nor were any of the people who uh, actually carried out the, um, the measurements and the design of this study involved with Linda Mood Bell. That's really important. That means that the results you can put you can take to the bank. So these are brand new this is brand new uh, first time that this has been found. Training induced changes in gray matter were found in this group of children. There were reading improvements also induced by the intervention that were accompanied those changes. And particularly important, both reading improvement and gray matter volume changes remained over that uh, period after the training ended. What we do changes behavior. What you do at Linda Mood Bell changes behavior. We've known that. That was not a surprise. We, what we do changes brain function and also changes brain structure. This is corroboration 
this is big. This is really big uh, corroborating evidence for what we do. The most important thing, perhaps, is that these changes make a difference that lasts. I mentioned before that sometimes people say that everything you do changes your brain, and uh, certainly it does, but those changes don't all last. When you have learned a skill and you can hold on to that skill, that's what's important, and that's what we do at Linda Mood Bell. We change brains and we change lives.